Hi everybody, for today's focus, I am testing the disinfecting power of 91% isopropyl alcohol. Thank you again to those who suggested I give alcohol a try. Well, that sounded funny. So I've had a handful of viewers request that I test either 70% or 91% alcohol. Aviator 007, Chandra Muli S, Curly Girly Hope, Nina Bina 5, Post Debut, and a couple others. So I figured I would start with the 91% isopropyl alcohol because I found it in a spray version at my local Walgreens. Normally when I use alcohol, I'll use it as a disinfectant after I clean a surface with some sort of soap a Dr. Bronner's or a dish soap like palm olive or something and then after cleaning that's when I would normally spray a disinfectant like alcohol on the area. But today I'm just going to test the 91% isopropyl alcohol on its own. I'm not going to do any surface cleaning ahead of time. In order to test the disinfecting power of the alcohol, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a Petri dish just like this one here and I'm going to label it A, B, and C. I'm going to take some sterile swabs and I'm going to swab various places around my home. I'll place that sample on B for before. Then what I'm going to do is I'll spray the area with the 91% alcohol and I'm going to let it sit for five minutes. Then I'll swab the area again and place that sample on a for after. C is a control. Nothing is going to go here. Let's see how well 91% isopropyl alcohol disinfects my home. Now for some results. Let's start with the toilet bowl. All right, here we can see the before section. There's a lot of bacteria, as we expect in the good old toilet bowl. In the after section, mm, there's a decrease, right? There is definitely a decrease in bacteria, but it's not quite as significant as I would have expected it to be. Again, the alcohol I think is something that is to be used after using like a soap or detergent product. So I think I want to retest the alcohol in the toilet bowl um, using some sort of soap cleaner first and then finishing it with an alcohol. So stay tuned for that. The bathroom sink. So look at that before section. That has a lot of bacteria. There's a lot of bacteria there on B for before. And let's look at that after section. There's not much there at all. I mean, I can count uh, less than half a dozen bacterial colonies growing after disinfecting with the 91%. 
So in my home, the 91% uh, alcohol does an excellent job at disinfecting my bathroom sink. The kitchen counter. Well, here we see in the before section, plenty of bacteria that we picked up from the kitchen counter. In the after section, there is nothing. We have zero, no bacterial colonies at all in my after section. 91% ice bubble alcohol does an excellent job at disinfecting my kitchen counter. The kitchen sink. Again, the before section, we have some bacteria. I'm not getting quite as much bacteria as I normally get in my kitchen sink swabs. And that's because I think I've told you before in another video that my dishwasher broke. So I'm doing a lot of hand washing in my kitchen sink. So it's getting hit with a lot more hot soapy water. And I can't let my kitchen sink just kind of sit for a little bit before testing. But you can definitely see bacteria in the before section. In the after section, we have one, maybe two tiny colonies of bacteria growing. So again, the 91% isopropyl alcohol does an excellent job at disinfecting my kitchen sink. So if you're used to watching my videos, you know I usually test a cleaner on the toilet rim or the toilet base, but I started cleaning my bathroom before I took a before swab. So I was unable to include that in these results. But what I'll do, I said previously that I'm going to do another um, toilet bowl test with the isopropyl alcohol after cleaning it with a soap, like maybe a Dr. Bronner's. So what I will do is I will include the toilet rim results in that video when I get that done. So overall, I'm super impressed with the 91% isopropyl alcohol's ability to disinfect in my home. I kind of expected it to work very well, and I'm pleased that it did. If there's a cleaner that you would like me to test out, put it in the comments section. I do my absolute best to get to them as soon as possible. Thank you again to those who suggested I give alcohol a try. Well, that sounded funny. <laughs> do that again. Thanks to the viewers again who requested that I give 91% alcohol a test. I absolutely love testing various cleaners in the home and I hope you enjoy watching. Please hit that subscribe button and that thumbs up if you enjoy looking at these Petri dishes. And take care. Have yourselves a great day.